Welcome to everybody who's watching this. My name is Anthony Boggs. I'm the director of the Center for the Study of Slavery and Justice and a professor here at Brown University. This particular exhibition, Racial Slavery, Marinage and Freedom, is a special one for the Center for the Study of Slavery and Justice. It's our 10th anniversary retrospective exhibition with uh, three artists who have worked with us over the last decade. Edward Deval Carrier, Jess Hill, and Renal Laurent. The question of slavery, of colonialism, of these social systems which shape the modern world are not just historical or academic questions. They are issues which continue to shape our everyday life. And so therefore for us to have exhibitions, whether they are art or whether they are historical exhibitions, is about trying to engage beyond the center, beyond the academy, with publics who can look at these things and who can come to their own judgment about the ways in which racial slavery and colonialism shape our everyday lives and the structures that cover the ways in which we live today. What we will do today, you will hear from all the artists, Edward, Jess and Renal, about how they think about the work that they have done with the center, but also what do they think about their own work, and also specifically the pieces of art they have produced for this particular show. My name is Jessica Hill. I am born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Edouard duval -Carrier. I'm a Haitian, a Haitian origin. Moi, c'est Renaud Laurent. Moi, fait non sous Guetou, une localité qui situe li dans zone vallée de Mabial, à quelques kilomètres ville Jacmel. Born and raised in the South, my parents made sure to teach me about civil rights and slavery. Even as a young girl, I kind of felt the ramifications of that. Um, so when I became an artist. Um, that's where my work gravitated toward. When you think about the institution of slavery, um, we didn't just arrive here. You know, we, we weren't born here. We were taken, snatched away from our lands and brought here. So thinking about that part, the journey over, um, I decided to place the slave ship directly on top of the plantation. This is a story that I don't want to be forgotten. I want to honor my ancestors. I want to honor the people that came before me. I want to honor the people that didn't survive. So I want the visitors to kind of take that away, to take at least a moment of remembering and honoring away. And one thing that I kind of discovered is that um, enslaved people would use quilt patterns um, as quilt codes when they were running away. So I found that to be just so mind-blowing that you can say um, just through a pattern uh, you need to stay on this path or you need to go northwest or you need to zigzag so the hounds don't um, can't trace you. But I think more people are coming to the understanding of how much history and tradition there is in quilting. So yes, it is, quilting is fine art. I'm an artist, first of all, but my, my relationship with uh, 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 people like you and, and the Center for Slavery and Justice has opened my mind and opened my interest to a history that has, first of all, been neglected. I mean, sometimes put under the, car under the carpet. I feel that it, it's, it's become my duty to make sure that I try to develop some sort of visual language for it. Cecile Fatima, the only time we hear of her, and the last time we hear of her is in that poem, 
where she brandishes a, a, a kutula, I mean a huge saber, and slices the throat of the, of the pig. That is literally the founding myth of the nation where, you know, like the slaves in the plain of the Cape Haitian one night reunited and slaughtered a pig, you know, like to launch the massive rebellion that became known as the Haitian Revolution. And she officiated it. Whether she existed or not, I mean, she does represent religious aspect of the founding of a nation. It's a complicated story to be told. And like today is like more important than any other time, you know, like to, to revisit it, to try to understand it better, or to give new facts concerning that. Here I am, I mean, I'm a son of Haiti and there is a religion that surrounds me and what it is about and how do I make it more compelling and more um, accessible. We try to make it as striking as possible and make sure that it lives longer than just, you know, like an exhibit. Sous Gueto, il y a une localité qui moins grandit dans zone ça et puis il y a qui c'est une communauté artistique qui gagne plusieurs artistes très connus qui évoluent là-dedans. À travers le travail, le travail que me présenter là, c'est d'abord un message d'espoir. Sortir dans une période pour parler de une période qui est très difficile, qui est très dure et côté un un peu joie là-dedans. Par exemple, dans une peinture et célébration, euh, oui, c'est en gros ça. C'est montrer que dans la célébration, à la fois, il y a des éléments qui sont capables de rappeler au monde. Il y a un moment qui est difficile, mais il y a d'autres éléments tout, qui peut la joie et qui peut l'espoir. La signification du travail, moi, c'est d'abord une connexion. Moi, je voulais essayer de connecter les gens qui ont regardé le travail. Moi, mais c'est une connexion spirituelle. Alors, moi, je voulais porter un aspect spirituel dans, dans ce qui est développé, en particulier dans tous les détails. Il y a comme un artiste haïtien et bon, en premier lieu, moi, je suis peut-être moins comme un, un monde qui est dans une communauté et qui est en connexion avec la communauté hein, à travers l'histoire, à travers le passé et présent et futur communauté. Il y a un travail moins, c'est abstraction. Et souvent, et moi, j'ai un petit effort pour moi faire connexion. Et, mais moi, j'ai toujours quitté une porte tout, pour que mon pénétre dans le travail. Moi. Each of these pieces represent, to my, in my mind, a certain way of thinking about racial slavery and the questions of marinage and freedom and the ways in which racial slavery shaped America. Thank you very much for coming out and supporting this. Thank you all. Thank you.